Hi traders, this is Forex Nelson and I'm back again today with another six trades. Today's date is March the 3rd and I'm using my new Pipsnagger trading system. It's the one that uses Ikenashi candles on the top. Simple, easy, it, get rid, it gets rid of all the noise. It's either red for going down and blue for going up. And once you line everything up in the charts, and you get a signal to buy or sell, you take the trade. Now, not only does it have the Heiken Ashi candles, but it also uses what I call this magic indicator, the TZ. TZ, short for trigger zones indicator, on top of this timing indicator. Now this TZ indicator it really helps to find the beginning of the up and down cycles within the market. This is great for traders who love to scalp the markets using the five minute time frame. You can easily trade all three trading sessions 24 hours a day. Now I call that the flow of the market. Easy concept to understand. You're going to sell high and if you're in a downtrend you only want to focus on selling. Uh, like where the two arrows now mind you I put in two ar arrows manually and this is taken directly from my daily trade plan and when there's two arrows it means it's a preferred trade it has a higher percentage uh, uh, very good chance of going down now right at six o'clock in the morning where this vertical line is between six and seven I'm putting together my daily trade plan we can take a look at that. Here it is here. My daily trade plan for March the 3rd, 22. You really must be putting together or getting your hands on a trade plan. As my mentor told me about 15 or 16 years ago, one of the reasons why a lot of traders fail is because they have no plan. You have to plan your trade and then trade your plan. So that's exactly what I'm doing up to an hour before. I'm, I'm planning it and then I take the trades. All these trades were taken directly um, from my daily trade plan. And as you can clearly see the two at the bottom, the futures, NASDAQ and Russell, they pay a lot. Please keep in mind that as easy as you can get paid a lot, you can lose a lot. A lot more than just trading Forex. But once you get the timing right with the um, TZ indicator, um, you know, you're going to get some pips. It doesn't mean you're going to get 50 or 100 pips, but you're going to get some pips. So as I said, all the trades were taken from the daily trade plan and if you don't have one of these and if you don't know how to make one of these trade plans um, you can get your hands on mine and please keep in mind I do charge a hundred dollars a month for it well well worth it can you imagine if you would have done just the NASDAQ look at how many pips that is would have paid for it the whole month many times over. So now we can get into these trades. First trade is the Euro New Zealand. All the uh, Forex pairs I sold and the last two I bought. So let's see where I got in at. This was a preferred pair shown by the double arrow did a bit of a pullback but I knew that it was definitely going to go down like at least 95 percent nothing is a hundred percent as it could have hit very strong support here and it could have just kept going up but anyhow that's why you have to have trade management and money management in order looks like I closed out the trade uh, being happy with 28 pips and those 28 pips paid out 1902 dollars 
Moving on to the next trade, Pound Aussie. Another one with the double arrows means it's a preferred trade. Everything I'm doing here, you have to mimic it. And um, once you do that, you're going to start to find success. Took the trade at this cursor. I knew it was going to go down. Didn't go. Just went back to the goal line. Eight pips against me. Looks like I locked in about... Uh, whoops. The mark charts moved a bit there. Threw this out of whack. Could have made a lot more, by the way. But I was happy with about uh, 26 pips. And those 26 pips paid $1,903. Let's move on to the next trade, Pound New Zealand. Here we go. Another one that I sold. Looks like I could have got a lot more. Not a big deal. I wasn't too worried about it. Basically, I close out the trade as I'm watching my totals down at the bottom. And when I have a feeling that I'm around 200 pips, I close out and today, um, should be around 400. We'll find out after I add up all the pips. Got in at that cursor and I closed out the trade just being happy as I said many times. Looks like uh, about 28 pips and 28 pips on the pound New Zealand paid $1,970. Moving on to the next trade, the Euro Aussie, another one that I sold. There's the arrow. Let's see where I got in at. Did go a little bit against me, not a big deal. About um, 15 pips. And I decided to close out the trade again, just being happy with, looks like 29 pips again. 29 pips paid out um, $2,196. Now we can get into the instruments that actually pay a lot more. Russell, let's take a look at that one. Here we go, Russell. This one does pay $10 a pip. There's the arrow. I knew I wanted to be buying. Let's see where I got in at. Glad I got out here because if I was not paying attention, not doing trade management in you know, managing it properly, I would be probably losing $10,000 right at this point in time. But uh, I got in at this cursor and I closed it out again, just being happy. Now, that happens to be, um, let's see, Russell 109. It has to be 109. Just looking at the total down at the bottom. 109 times $10 times 10 lots paid out $10,900. Now moving on to the NASDAQ. This one pays $20 a pip, so be careful with this one. Let's see where I got in at. Another one looks like I closed out at approximately a, at a very good price. Got in at this cursor, closed it out at this point, just being happy. Remember, just being happy. You remove the last two digits, and that's 136. 136 times two, that's 26, 27. That would be approximately right. To get that right on, you would have to use a calculator. But I'm gonna go with the, uh, 136 is close enough. 136 times 20 times 10 lots paid out $27,220. So another great day of trading. I find Thursdays are usually the best day of the week to trade. It's not written in stone, but Thursdays for me has always been pretty good. And on this uh, Thursday, I ended up uh, getting a total of pips and ticks. It worked out to be 356, well over 200. That usually makes me happy. 
and those 356 pips paid out $46,093. So if your system is not producing on a daily basis uh, great results like my pip snagger, I suggest you get your hands on it and I recommend a daily trade plan. At least you can be making some money as you are learning how to trade. Anyhow, if you want some more information, all you have to do is look right below this video and you'll see this right up. My Pip Snagger system, I do charge $250 for it. I teach how to trade the flow of the market and that is possible by using this TZ indicator. Now my system has five gigabytes of training and you'll get an exact copy of my system on your MT4 platform. Included are five MT4 templates, 10 custom indicators, and my favorite meter. Now I threw in a lot of PDF books, a lot of Word documents, and nine bonus videos. Now this is just all bonus stuff with a lot of good education. And that should help you to succeed at trading. Now there's a lot of ways to trade. I teach a lot of ways, a lot of different ways. And that is why I produce 50 training videos. They're about 20 minutes long each. And um, I'm not going to go through everything here because of the time. All you got to do is put the video on pause, read everything. If you have any questions at all, simple, just pick up the phone and call me. Here's my number. Now, if you live too far, it's simple again. Just send me an email. Remember, there's an underscore right here. Now, I really do prefer Skype. Made it simple for you. All you got to do is click on this link. We'll have Skype connection. And through Skype screen sharing, I'll give you a free session. I'll answer your questions, give you some tips and tricks. Keep in mind that I'll do all of that with no obligation to you. Now, if you click on this link right here, you'll see 35 screenshots of all the systems I've been building over the years. Time to wrap up this video. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, until the next trading day and the next video, I want to wish you good luck with your trading and remember to keep yourself and your family safe. Okay? Bye for now.